Religious Moderates and Orcs, An Analogy Baladash Malanore In many debates and discussions over the actions done under the banner of religion, one of the most common things that theists and atheists alike will bring up is that moderates are like that. But it feels like if a person in a video doesn't explicitly mention that he or she is referring to moderates, or sometimes even if they do, there will still be theists who point the finger and suggest that they are being generalised. Excluding the many contrived excuses people will make for the Bible, the basis for one of the biggest religions on the planet, I have a good analogy to explain more clearly why atheists, what atheists are talking about when they say religion causes effects X, Y and Z. Orcs. Now, this analogy isn't going to be perfect, I know. Specifically, with World of Warcraft Orcs, we are talking about a fantasy race of uh, beings rather than a belief system held by real people. However, for the sake of argument, the points of similarity in this analogy should refresh, reflect the issue adequately. In WoW, Orcs are split up in multiple different factions, most of which ally exclusively with the Horde or are hostile to both Horde and Alliance. You, ha you have the playable orcs of Orgrimmar, you have the Dragonmoor orcs, you have the Magdar orcs of Outland, and you have the demonic Fellblood orcs. We even have orcs which team up with other neutral or hostile factions, such as the Earth and Ring Shaman Cult, or the Twilight's Hammer Cult. Each of these factions have different ideals and goals. They may all have shamans and warlocks in their ranks, but some, of the, uh, some may use them for good while others may use them for evil. Even within the same faction, you may have the benevolent and generally peaceful, and at this point ex-warchief Thrall, and the hot-headed, dogmatic, warmongering, but still honourable Garrosh Hellscream. What am I getting at with this? Well, just like orcs, the relig religion has many different factions. All may hold similar beliefs and practices, but the actions of many factions are very different. Going back to the analogy of orcs for a moment, in, in the wild zone known as the Twilight Highlands, the first town you will come to after crash landing is the Dragonmoor Port. The Dragonmoor Orc faction at uh, that uh, particular area is being held hostage by the Fellblood Orcs who have allied themselves with the evil Twilight's Hammer Cult. You have to ally yourselves with the Dragonmoor Orcs to defeat the Fell Orcs and take back the stronghold of Dragonmoor Port. If I say that all Orcs are responsible for allying with the Twilight's Hammer Cult, this would be a very hasty generalisation because we know that Orcs of Orgrimmar and the Dragonmoor are fighting against the Twilight's Hammer Cult, as well as maybe the Magfa in Earth and Ring. However, I would say, just as, as the Orcs are allying with the Twilight's Hammer Cult, sorry, if I said that just that Orcs were allying with the uh, Twilight's Hammer Cult, I wouldn't be wrong, would I? Because d despite the different faction, Fell Orcs are still Orcs. And when one faction uh, poses a great threat to the world and many people's lives, we need to work against to stop that faction. The same can be said of, for religion. If a particular faction of religion is trying to undermine teaching of science in schools or scamming people out of money with fake miracle cures and faith healing, then, we, then they need to be stopped. And this is something that many theists and atheists are, alike can agree on. However, if one was uh, wants to say religion is causing these problems, they wouldn't be wrong. The question should be asked which religion if they don't specify. But usually when describing the actions that are done in the name of religion, people are simply describing the actions by a, sim by a specific faction. And so we can find out who they are most likely talking about by looking at which faction under the banda or Christianity or whatever religion is doing the actions described in the video. Unfortunately, the factions um, in real life aren't as clearly defined as those in WoW. But what we, what we should always be doing is looking at power. How much religion, uh, how much power does the, do these specific factions hold over people? Do they need to be different, uh, be in the majority of a religion to be a problem? 
I would say that Christianity, uh, as well as Islam, as it stands, has enough different factions with enough power and malicious intention to suggest that they are a problem in America, as well as many other countries in the world. So to wrap up the main point of this video, not all factions of Christianity or religion in general are the same or are as big of a threat. However, when people say that religion is one of the biggest causes of pain and suffering in the world, they aren't telling a lie or making hasty generalisations unless they specifically state that all religion is a problem. <coughs> Condell, excuse me. If religion didn't exist, many of the world's problems would be fixed. Just like if there were no orcs, then many of the wars and evils of the specific factions would not happen. People may very well acknowledge that there are more things, uh, more moderate factions who, um, who generally don't bring harm to people, or even go out of their way to make things better for people. But this doesn't eliminate the fact that religion is causing problems, and that jumping on people for not doing enough to specify that the faction does nothing but uh, the, the fa specify the faction does nothing but distract from the issue at hand. Sherelle Aran.